the purpose of a classroom container? Some teachers might say it's to store stuff. Other teachers might say it's to contain things. Still other teachers might say, oh, it's perfect for children to tote around the classroom. So we have many various opinions about what the purpose of a container is. I thought when I was a preschool teacher that that was the purpose of the container, to store, to contain, to tote. But I've now started thinking about containers in a whole different perspective. I've now started thinking about containers as their purpose being to attract children to their contents. So if you start to imagine and think about the purpose of a container is to attract children to its contents, then you start thinking about containers and selecting containers in a whole different way. So for example, if you use this Lazy Susan as a container, that's a perfect container. It's a low-sided container so children can see what's in the Lazy Susan before they actually have to peer up and over. That's a perfect container. Another perfect container would be a wooden bowl. And start thinking about wood or even metal, like metal mixing bowls. Although they're loud, they make great containers for children. Even a colander makes a great container with some pipe cleaners and the children can weave the pipe cleaners in the colander's hole. It's a, that makes a great, great container. Here's some other examples of containers. You can see a variety of material, wood, metal. There's a lot of different materials that you can use other than that plastic basket. So th think about how you can select interesting, unique containers. And remember that the purpose of a container is not just to store or to stuff or to tote, but the purpose of a container is to attract children to its contents.